Hello and welcome to another video from FilmsByChris.com. This video is part of a series. Be sure to check out the description of this video for the full playlist, as well as links to all the example code that I have up online. Every video in this series has example code that you can test out to go along with it. Today, we are going to create a Keiko demon that gives birth to a baby Keiko demon. I'm not the first person to do this, um, but my code is very different than the other people's because I've, I've tried to very simplify this down for you. So I'm in a directory here. I have two files. One is my... Uh, uh, Z script file, which you could put all the code right in here, but again, we're just using this to divide things up. All that's in there is the version of GZ script that we're using, or Z, Z script that we're using, and then we're going to include the file that we're going to mainly work in. So now I'm going to use Vim as my text editor, NeoVim actually, and uh, but you use whatever text editor you'd like. Uh, so we have baby Keiko.zsc, and in here, First thing I need to do is make the mama coco. So I'm gonna say class, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna call it mom keiko. And it is gonna take on the attributes of a keiko demon. And we are going to replace, you would think we're gonna replace uh, the keiko demon, but I'm gonna replace the zombie man. As I said in previous videos, I do this just because the first level of Doom 2 there's zombie men right in front of you. So you would either not replace anything, create your own maps, or replace whatever monster you want with your custom monster. And we're doing this just for one main reason, to set its drop item. So what is its drop item? The drop item is when it dies, whatever object is going to drop. And it can be any object in the game, but we're going to drop our Keiko baby, which we have not created yet. So now that we have that, that has to actually go inside a default uh, bracket. So we'll do this. There we go. Now we'll create our Keiko baby. So again, we're gonna say class. We're gonna call it uh, Keiko baby. And we are going to, it's gonna take on the attributes of the Keiko demon. So we do that. We don't need to replace anything because it's not gonna be placed in the map. It's going to appear when the mom Keiko dies. And we're going. To, what we're going to do here is we're going to set its defaults, and we're going to set its default scale to, and we can give it a decimal point here. One is its default size, so we'll make it about a third the size by saying 0.3 or 0 0.3. I don't think you need the zero, but looks good to have it there. So let's go ahead and just start our game up again. We're going to say gz doom dash file dot meaning run the code or all the objects in the current directory. Then I'm just saying, telling it where my Doom 2 watt is and to warp to level one. But the first part there with dot, dash file dot is all that you really need. So our zombie men have been replaced with Keiko demons. And if we shoot them, when they die, they spawn little Keiko demons. Uh, we're gonna change a few other things, but for example, when he attacks, you can see that his little Keiko fireball is coming out way too high. So we need to change that. So what we're going to do is go back into our code here. And we are going to set a state. So states. And we're going to set its missile state. So that's when it's shooting. So we're just going to override its state for missile. And I'm just going to quickly copy things here. So. What we're saying here is use the sprite head, frame B, frame C, hold it for five uh, ticks, and then we're gonna say uh, face the target, face the target. This is from the default uh, Keiko Demon code. And then on the next one, we are going to change its original attack to this. So instead of just doing a Keiko attack, we're gonna say, actually, let me, let me change that. Let me show you what the original one is. No, I don't need to do that. Uh, I just wanted to show you. We're going to say uh, custom attack. And here uh, we have Keiko Baby Ball. But real quick, let's just go ahead and show you that we can do this. We can just say, is it Keiko Ball? Keiko Demon Ball. So we do that. And I guess I should explain this. I do have notes in the example code online. This is saying, OK, play this sprite this frame for this long, bright means if they're in a dark room, it lights up and then we're doing a custom attack. And what are we, what is it spawning? It's gonna spawn the Keiko demon ball, the default one. But we're gonna change the height of it to eight. I think originally it's 16, so I cut that in half. And then here, this is gonna be the damage. And I could just put a, a number 
Uh, but what I'm doing here is I'm saying pick a random number between 1 and 6 and multiply it by 10. So that way, every time they shoot you, it's random. It doesn't take away the same health. So you can just put a number in there, but I'm just making it random to for variety. Right? So, and then after that, we're going to say go to C so that they start looking for you again. That's all we really need to do. And if we start up our game now, I type something wrong. Line 15. Let's do auto indentation. Oh, states should not have a colon like this. It's supposed to have brackets like this. There we go. Or braces, I should say. There we go. So we have them. Let's go ahead and kill them. Baby should spawn, little baby. And now when he attacks, his attack is coming out of him. But it's still kind of large. And so we're going to change some values of it. So we're going to create our own custom baby Keiko Demon Ball. So we're going to come down here. We are going to create another object. And we're going to say cl oops, class. And I'm going to call it Keiko Baby Ball. And it is going to take on the attributes of the default Keiko Demon Ball. And we want to change this so that it takes on this. So we're going to spawn our custom. And we're just going to change a few of the defaults. So we're going to say, oops, default. And we're going to change its scale. And I know I made the, the baby a third of the size, but I'm going to make the, the ball a half the size. And then I'm going to set the speed to 10, which is a little different. I forget what the default is. Uh, I think I'm making it a little faster. So let's go ahead and run that. And now when the baby is spawned and he shoots at us, it's coming from him. Shoot at me. And it's a little smaller. It's about half the size of a original Keiko Demon Ball. So we're pretty much done, but let's go ahead and add some tweaks. So real quick, just so we can differ, we can tell the difference between uh, an a original Keiko Demon and our Mama Keikos. Let's go ahead and do translate. And I did this in a previous video. This is setting the colors so that it looks pink. And let's make the babies a different color as well. We'll translate them so that they are green. And so watch my video, uh, my previous video on translating colors or changing colors of monsters. I'm going to set some other values in here. So we shrunk his scale, but his physics are still the same. So let's go ahead and set his radius down to 10. So it's a little bit smaller. Um, and we'll set his speed to 16. That will make the babies a little bit faster. I think the mamas are the fault are eight, but we're making them a little bit faster. And I don't know if you notice it much in the game, but we'll set the mass a little bit lighter so that they're they're pushed around a little bit easier than the Mama Keikos. So that's our baby Keiko there. And then down here, uh, we probably should set the radius of the Keiko ball to something smaller, but I don't know what the default is. We could look it up, but I'm just gonna leave it as this for now. I might update the example code. So now those are just a couple little tweaks. If we run the game now, and I do all the weapons, you can see the Mamas are pink. When we kill them, a little green baby pops out. And they move faster than the mamas did. They shoot smaller balls that move faster. And their balls take a random, when they hit you, random damage between, uh, what did I say, um, 10 and 60. So they're, they're more powerful. That's it for this video. Again, be sure to check out my website, which is filmsbychris.com. There you can search through all my videos, and I have lots of them. You can also go to filmsbychris.com forward slash git search to search through my GitLab projects, or you can go straight to my GitLab page, uh, which is uh, gitlab.com forward slash mailx1000. Uh, this particular project with all the examples is Doom Zscript examples, and there you can go to the examples folder and check out all the examples. I'm working on them all the time. You can see I have a lot I'm trying to get videos done for all of these. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope that you have a great day.